from goats, birds, and amphibians to dogs and monkeys, here are 12 humans raised like animals. Number 12, the Romanian dog boy. We have a couple of cases where humans have allegedly been raised by feral dogs. In 2002, a seven-year-old boy was found. He was mistaken for a three-year-old due to malnutrition. Trian Calderar had lived in the forest for about four years, apparently running away from home after his mother left. He was found lying naked in a cardboard box where he suffered from rickets, infected wounds, and had forgotten how to speak. Doctors felt it was unlikely he could have survived completely on his own, and speculate that stray dogs in the country countryside probably assisted him. After being captured, he displayed many animal-like behaviors, including a habit of sleeping under his bed instead of on top of it. At last report, Tryon's grandfather was taking care of him, and he had reacclimated well to normal life. Number 11, the Goat Boy. In 1990, a boy identified only as Daniel was found in the Peruvian Andes. Allegedly raised by goats for eight years, he was around 12 at the time of discovery. When he was found in the mountains, witnesses claimed that he ran on all fours like an animal. His hands and feet had developed scar tissue that was hoof-like. He survived in the wild by drinking goat milk and eating berries and roots. Research teams from Kansas State University and Kansas University determined that he could communicate with the animals, but it was extremely difficult for him to learn human language. Number 10, the Mowgli Woman. Many feral children are nicknamed Mowgli after the character in Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book. This person seems more than worthy of the reference because she was a feral child who grew into a feral adult. Ing Kidi disappeared into the jungle of northeastern India when she was only four years old. Rumors of a jungle girl circulated around the region for many years. Then in 2012, the rumors turned out to be true. 38 years after she went missing, Ing was found living naked in a cemetery in Myanmar near the Indian border. Later, she joined her parents and slowly reintegrated into society. She still hasn't revealed how she managed to live for so long in the jungle, nor what animals may have played a role in her survival. What would you guess? Number nine, the ostrich boy. This account took place back in 1945 in North Africa. Sidi Mohammed was five or six when he wandered away from his family and discovered an ostrich nest with hatchlings. Instead of running him off, the parent birds apparently befriended him. Not only did they care for Sidi, but they also taught him how to run fast and sheltered him with their extended wings. Mounted ostrich hunters found the boy when he was about 12 and took him back to his parents. At the time he was found, Sidi was said to eat mostly grass. After reacclimating into human society, he later married and raised a family. In the early 2000s, Sidi's son relayed his father's story to a Swedish author who turned it into a book. Not surprisingly, this story has been met with a fair amount of skepticism since the big birds tend to run away when approached by humans, and they can turn aggressive when they feel threatened. Number eight, woman raised by monkeys. That's the title of a National Geographic documentary that focuses on Marina Chapman. She gained notoriety for living with a colony of capuchin monkeys in Colombia. After an attempted kidnapping in her village in the 1950s, she was abandoned in the jungle, where the monkeys befriended her. She lived with them from the age of five until she was nine. During that time, the animals taught her how to survive by catching rabbits and birds with her bare hands. Years later, hunters found her and returned Marina to the company of humans. But it wasn't exactly a rescue. Now unable to speak, in a human language, she was sold into servitude and ended up living on the streets. A sympathetic friend helped her escape the predicament when she was 14. Marina eventually traveled to England, where she worked as a nanny and later got married. While her autobiography was published in 2013, it was initially rejected by many publishers because the story just sounded so far-fetched. Number seven the Cambodian Jungle Girl. In 2007, a woman emerged from the dense jungle of a remote area in northeastern Cambodia. Shortly after that, a family from a village nearby claimed that she was their daughter who had disappeared almost 19 years earlier. Authorities allowed the woman to be taken in by the family and she stayed with them until 2016. She preferred to crawl instead of walking upright and could only understand three words and had a great difficulty adjusting to civilized life. She also made repeated attempts to escape back to the jungle. Much of that behavior 
might be similar to that of feral children, but many sources weren't convinced and claim she may have been held in captivity. Another twist in this story occurred in 2016, when a Vietnamese man identified the woman as his daughter, who went missing years earlier. After providing documentation that supported his claim, she was allowed to join her birth family in Vietnam. According to her father, she had never been able to speak. Most news outlets reported this as a story of a feral child who grew up with animals in the jungle, so we included it as such. But the mystery of what occurred during her disappearance is still unresolved. What do you think happened? Let us know in the comments. Number six. The Human Amphibian. This story was reported in the early 1970s in Uttar Pradesh in northern India. Ramachandra was a 13-year-old boy said to be living like an amphibian in a local river. Villagers rescued him in 1979, but he was never able to completely adapt to a human lifestyle. Ramachandra preferred to eat raw food and had an awkward manner of walking and continued to spend a lot of time alone in local rivers. He later died from severe burns he received when a frightened woman doused him in scalding water. Number five, the wolf man. That title usually refers to werewolves. In this case, however, it refers to a man in Spain who was literally raised by wolves. Marcos Rodriguez Pantoja was an abused child who was sold to a hermit goat herder when he was seven. At some point, the goat herder abandoned Marcos to the wilderness. When he was 19, he was found at the foot of a mountain by the Spanish Civil Guard and had to be taken bound and gagged to a nearby village. Marcos could howl and bite like a wolf, but he could no longer speak. His back was so crooked from four foraging on all fours that he couldn't walk upright. His reintegration into society took a long time, and he's never been comfortable sleeping in a bed. Marcos claimed that he'd been adopted by a family of wolves that protected him and gave him food. Nuns at a nearby hospital helped him relearn how to speak, dress, and walk. His story has since been depicted in a movie, and Marcos still gives talks about his experience. But even now, he doesn't seem to be completely at ease in human society. In a 2018 interview, he mentioned that he wished that he could simply return to the mountains. Number four, the bird boy. This story from Russia doesn't involve a child that was raised in the wilderness because it took place in a city, but the circumstances seem pretty uncivilized, to say the least. In 2008, a seven-year-old boy named Vanya Yudin was found living in a tiny apartment where he had been neglected by his mother. Surrounded by dozens of wild and domestic birds, he could only communicate by flapping his arms and chirping. He couldn't understand any human language. Care workers said his mother treated him like a pet and raised him in a virtual aviary. Only the birds communicated with them, so he learned their language. The mother later signed a letter of abdication, and Vanya was taken to a center for psychological treatment. Number three, the dog girl. Among the best known verified cases of a feral child is Oksana Malaya of Ukraine. She was so neglected by her alcoholic parents that she was exiled from the house. So the little girl found refuge in a shed in a nearby garden that was inhabited by black Russian terriers. Between the ages of three to seven and a half, she mostly lived there and the animals bonded with her. As they cared for her, Oksana learned their behaviors and mannerisms. By the time authorities located her, the little girl was running around on all fours, barking and sleeping on the floor. The only words she understood were yes and no. She was later taken to a foster home where she underwent years of therapy to eliminate her dog-like behaviors. By the time Oksana was an adult, she was able to speak fluently and express herself intelligently. Her story later gained international attention and she was the subject of several TV interviews and documentaries. At last report, she was working on a farm tending cows. Number two, boy raised by monkeys. When he was around three years old, a family tragedy spurred John Sibunya to escape into the jungles of Uganda. Once there for a few days, he was befriended by vervet monkeys that offered him nuts and sweet potatoes. The animals later adopted him and taught him how to climb through the jungles and gather his own food. In 1991, John was about seven. That's when he was discovered hiding in a tree by local tribespeople. When they tried to take him, the monkeys came to John's defense before he was eventually captured. Once returned to civilization, his behavior was still very monkey. He, liked. he screamed and bit at doctors, and his face and body were covered with hair, which later went away. After being cleaned up, he was identified and adopted by local teachers. Not only did he later learn how to speak, he turned out to have a great singing voice. Before we finish, I wanted to take this time to let you know that we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you enjoy them too, consider liking this one, subscribing to our channel, and leaving us a comment. We'd appreciate hearing from you. Number one, the Alpha Dog Boy. 
Ivan Mishukov was born in a town east of Moscow in 1992. After running away from home to escape parental abuse, he found refuge with a pack of feral dogs. Between the ages of four and six, he lived with the animals. After initially gaining the animals' trust by giving them food, they later returned the favor by protecting Ivan and making him the pack leader. Moscow police tried to capture him, but the pack of dogs always defended him. After three unsuccessful attempts, police distracted the dogs by leaving bait in a restaurant kitchen. At the age of six, Ivan was finally caught. Since he only lived among dogs for a couple of years, it didn't take him long to relearn the language. He's since gone on to give many TV interviews and served in the Russian military. Ivan's story has inspired several books, including one, appropriately enough, Dog Boy. Thanks for watching this episode of American Eye. Did you like the video? Tell us what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.